right now the second definition is definite integral definition and this is also said to be Euler's integral and the definition is gamma z is equivalent to is equal to integral from 0 to infinity e raised to minus t t raised to z minus 1 dt and you have a condition the real part of z should be greater than 0 otherwise the integral diverge okay so gamma z is equal to 0 to infinity e raised to minus t t raised to z minus 1 dt now firstly we will prove that this definition is equivalent to our infinite limit definition by Euler okay now in order to do that let us consider the a function and that function is f of z n f of z n that is equal to integral from 0 to n 1 minus t by n index 1 minus t by n raised to n t raised to z minus 1 dt and here n is a positive integer n is a positive integer so i am considering this function f of z z n now if i if i take limit n goes to infinity this function that means this one, 1 by t raised to n raised to n limit n goes to infinity 1 minus t by n whole raised to n this is equivalent to e raised to minus t this you can prove or most of you will know this result so i'm not going to spend my time on this so this definition you have already know so if i give this here in this definition in this in in the above step then this will be equal to integral from 0 to n so 1 minus t raised to n by n t, t by n whole raised to n is equal to e raised to minus t when n is equal to infinity so as limit n goes to infinity as limit n goes to infinity f of z n will be equivalent to 0 f of so this will be equal to so let us write this as f of z infinity when n is equal to infinity this f of z n will be f of z infinity that will be equal to integral from 0 to n infinity or to infinity and replace a n in a then 1 minus t raised to n by equality e raised to minus t in the e raised to minus t t raised to z minus 1 dt so number previous number first definition like f gamma z in definite integral definition like the natural set okay so if this is equation number one then this equation number two that is this equation number two is equivalent to equation number one and for prove it okay now i am going to evaluate f of z n by integration by parts so i will do integration by parts on f of z n we know that f of z n is equal to integral from 0 to infinity 1 minus t by n raised to n t raised to z minus 1 dt okay so if i integrate by far parts then before doing the integration by parts let us change the variable that is i am substituting t by n is equal to u t by n is equal to u or t is equal to n u so dt will be equal to n du okay now also you have to change the limit also now when t is equal to 0 when t is equal to 0 u will be equal to 0 and when t is equal to n when t is equal to sorry f of z by n but actually the definition integral from 0 to n when t is equal to n u will be equal to n by n that is equal to 1 so f of z by f of z then can be written as f of z 
n can be written as integral from 0 to 1. 1 minus t by n is actually now u. 1 minus u raised to n t. t is equal to n u. So, n u raised to z minus 1 dt will be equal to n du. So, this will be equivalent to n raised here you have an n raised to z minus 1 and n that will give you n raised to z that I will take outside. So, n raised to z integral from 0 to 1 1 minus u raised to n and u raised to z minus 1 du. Okay. Now again, now I can apply integration by parts. So if I integrate by parts this function, you will get n raised to z into integral from, now this is your first function, first function into, so 1 minus u raised to n into integral of second function, that means u raised to z by z. Integral of x raised to n will be equal to x raised to n plus 1 by n plus 1. So, here you will have u raised to z plus 1 by z minus 1 plus 1 by z minus 1 plus 1. That will be u raised to z by z. Now, limit from 0 to minus 1. So, first function into integral of second function minus integral of derivative of first function. So, derivative of first function will be 1 minus u raised to to n minus 1 into n. n into, if you have a function x raised to n, the derivative will be equal to nx raised to n minus 1 into, now first of all, that is derivative of first function into integral of second function. Integral of second function will be u raised to z by z and you will have a du. Here the limit will be from 0 to 1. Okay. Now, if you apply the limits, in the, in the first term, if first term we have limit apply the original, when upper limit is applied, you will have 1 minus 1 and that will be 0. Second limit we have apply, term apply, you have 0. So, the term vanishing. First term vanishing. So, you will end up in f of z n is equal to n by, so this will be equal to, this will be equal to n by z integral from 0 to 1, 1 minus u raised to n minus 1, u raised to z du. We will do a derivative of the derivative of minus sign. Here will be a minus 1. So, 1 minus u raised to 1 minus u raised to n in the derivative of the n into 1 minus u raised to n minus 1 into minus 1. That is only minus 1. This minus sign is positive. Okay. So, this is your f of z n, f of z n. Now, again, you can integrate by parts. Now, if you again apply integration by parts, then this will be equal to n by z into, again, first function into, that is 1 minus u raised to n minus 1. Actually, this term common, I don't know, that integrate equal. So, here you will have n raised to z term also. Okay. So here you will have n raised to z 1 minus u uh, 1 minus u so I can go to bracket it up. 1 minus u raised to so first function integral so I am applying integration by parts so n into n raised to z by z then into first function into integral of second function that is u raised to z plus 1 by z plus 1 limit to 0 to 1 minus integral of Derivative of first function will be equal to n minus 1 into 1 minus u raised to n minus 2 minus 2 into minus 1 into then integral of second function that will be u raised to z plus 1 by z plus 1. Again, you will have du and the limit will be from 0 to 1. Here you have to close the bracket. Okay. Now, if you see this, this step, then again when we apply the limits 
ഇത് അപ്പർ ലിമിറ്റ് അപ്ലൈ ചെയ്യുമ്പോൾ നിങ്ങൾക്ക് ഇവിടെ വൺ മൈനസ് വൺ ഉള്ള ടേം വരും വൺ മൈനസ് വൺ വരും സോ ദിസ് ടേം വാനിഷ് ചെയ്യും ദെൻ സെക്ക ലോവർ ലിമിറ്റ് സീറോ അപ്ലൈ ചെയ്യുമ്പോൾ അഗൈൻ ഈ ടേം വാനിഷ് ചെയ്യും സെക്കൻഡ് ടേം വാനിഷ് ചെയ്യും സോ സോ എനി വേ വെൻ യു അപ്ലൈ ലിമിറ്റ്സ് അറ്റ് ദി ബോത്ത് എൻഡ് അല്ലെങ്കിൽ ബോത്ത് എൻഡിലും ഈ ടേം വാനിഷ് ചെയ്യും വൺ അപ്പർ ലിമിറ്റിൽ വാനിഷ് ചെയ്യും ലോവർ ലിമിറ്റ് സോ എനി എനി വേ ദിസ് ടേം വാനിഷ് ചെയ്യും ഓക്കെ സോ ദി റിമൈനിങ് തിങ്സ് നിങ്ങൾ എടുത്ത് എഴുതി കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ യു വിൽ ഗെറ്റ് എൻ ഇൻറ്റു എൻ റൈസ് ടു സെഡ് ബൈ സെഡ് ഇൻറ്റു എൻ മൈനസ് വൺ ഇൻറ്റു ഇൻറ്റഗൾ ഫ്രം സീറോ ടു വൺ വൺ മൈനസ് യു റൈസ് ടു എൻ മൈനസ് ടു യു റൈസ് ടു സെഡ് പ്ലസ് വൺ ബൈ സെഡ് പ്ലസ് വൺ ഡി യു ഓക്കെ നൗ യു ക്യാൻ റീ റൈറ്റ് ദിസ് ആസ് ദിസ് ഈസ് ഇക്വാൽ എൻ്റെ ടു എൻ ഇൻറ്റു എൻ മൈനസ് വൺ ഡിവൈഡർ ബൈ സെഡ് ഇൻറ്റു സെഡ് പ്ലസ് വൺ ഇൻറ്റഗൾ ഫ്രം സീറോ ടു വൺ വൺ മൈനസ് യു റൈസ് ടു എൻ മൈനസ് ടു യു റൈസ് ടു സെഡ് പ്ലസ് വൺ ഡി യു സോ ദിസ് ഈസ് ആഫ്റ്റർ ആഫ്റ്റർ സെക്കൻഡ് ഇൻറ്റഗ്രേഷൻ ദിസ് ഈസ് ആഫ്റ്റർ അവർ സെക്കൻഡ് ഇൻറ്റഗ്രേഷൻ ഫസ്റ്റ് ഇൻറ്റഗ്രേഷൻ കഴിഞ്ഞപ്പോൾ ഇതായിരുന്നു ദിസ് ആഫ്റ്റർ അവർ ഫസ്റ്റ് ഇൻറ്റഗ്രേഷൻ ബൈ പാർട്സ് ഓക്കെ Now let us do once again. I will, I will apply integration by parts. Then this term will be equivalent to f of zn is equivalent to f of zn is equal to n into n minus 1 by sorry 1 1 term n is equal to n raised to z to 1 now. n into n minus 1 into n raised to z by z into z plus 1 then 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 again integration apply the again integration the the bracket first first function first function will be 1 minus u raised to n minus 2 into first function into integral of second function so that is u raised to z plus 2 by z plus 2 limit from 0 to 1 minus integral of derivative of first function so you will have n minus 2 into 1 minus u raised to n minus 3 into minus 1 into integral of second function that is u raised to z plus 2 by z plus 2 du. Okay. So this will be equivalent to this will be equal to n into n minus 1 into n minus 2. Well, when you apply limits this term will vanish. n minus 2 divided by z into z plus 1 into z plus 2 into n raised to z then integral from 0 to 1 1 minus u u raised to minus 3 then u raised to z plus 2 du so this is after third integration this is after third integration so after first integration this is our result and after second integration you have this result this red number red led edu then after third integration this is your result now if you compare this result then after nth integration after nth integration so after nth step nth integration you will have f of zn is equivalent to n into n minus 1 into n minus 2 into last step order after nth integration when we do, when we did third integration nammal third integration cheyidha appo avada term n minus 2 laan end cheyidathu so denominator z plus 2 li end cheyidu also integration agathu 1 minus u u minus 3 ilum z plus 2 laan end cheyidathu so njan nth term li cheyumbo when after nth integration this term ee step in, stop cheya n minus n n minus 1 and irikkum n minus n minus 1 3 la avumbo 2 la end cheyidu 2 la avumbo ningal nokke 1 la 1 la end cheyidu if when when i did second integration a term n minus 1 la end cheyidu so this term should n in n minus the last term vendathu n minus n minus 1 aanu denominator ningal nokki kazhinjal z z plus 1 then up to z plus 2 z plus 3 angana poittu adu vare varum ibada 3 aayappo 2 la end cheyidu appo n il aavumbo z plus n minus 1 il end cheyum okay then n raised to z undavu n raised to z 
integral nath 0 to 1, 1 minus u, then u raise to minus third integration of 3 on. So n the integration of u minus n varu. Then u raise to z plus 2 would have the time and the time of another. So you would n minus 1 I don't know why z z plus n minus 1 d univerum. Okay. Now the other one would have simplified here. Hi. Now what I am sure you are a little bit under the term u actually this is n u none of the other so this is actually n u l i n none okay now we will terminate on the nokia if we don't want to lay see that we know that this is actually equivalent to n into n minus 1 into n minus 2 what is n minus n minus 1 n when you cancel him then plus one now so this is this will end this will end in one divided by denominator z into z plus one up to z plus n minus one then numerator n raised to z and now this is integral from zero to one now n minus n is zero on so this term one minus u is equal to one over here. so anything because anything raised to zero x raised to zero will be equal to one okay so zero to one u raised to z plus n minus 1 d okay now last last term and evaluate either this will be equivalent to uh, integrating integral of integral x raised to n will be equal to x raised to n plus 1 by n plus 1 so this will be equal to u raised to z plus n by z plus 1 now you have to apply limit from 0 to 1 now when upper, upper, upper limit apply to you, you will get to 1 by z plus 1 and when you apply lower limit to 0 this will be 0 so this is equal to 1 by z plus 1 so you have to check you can you can, you can substitute it back there then this will be equal to n into n minus 1 into n minus 2 up to 1 into n raised to z by z into z plus 1 into z plus n minus 1 into into 1 by z plus 1 by z plus 1 sorry this is z plus n here you will have z plus n and here you will have z plus n so our lhs is f of z n f of z n so just rewrite here you know, f of z n is equivalent to 1 into 2 into 3 into up to n minus 1 into n into n divided by divided by z into z plus 1 into z plus z plus 2 into this will n z plus n minus 1 into z plus n into n raised to z okay now if you compare this this step with our infinite limit definition first definition that is limit n goes to infinity 1 into 2 into 3 into n by z into z plus 1 into z plus 2 into z plus 1 into n raised to z so as limit n goes to infinity infinite limit definition on the last table prove is the so f of z n is equivalent to that infinite limit definition when n goes to infinity our condition on the number say that so we proved that the second definition that is integral integral definition from that is a definite integral definition from integral from 0 to infinity e raised to minus t t raised to z minus 1 dt is equivalent to the the infinite limit definition of euler okay 